Welcome to week 12 of my Rockford Indoor Sunday League. Now, last week, we took on the team in fifth place that was right behind us. This week, we're taking on the team at 14th place. We thought it was going to be easy, uh, but we found out the hard way that it was not going to be. Maybe if you missed the last video, we won our last game 12 to 2. And typically, when we have performances like that, the next week, we come out laying a goose egg. Now, the complex that we play at has one field that has almost like hockey borders around it. Then they have two fields that are open like the one we're playing on and also another the one in a different part of the building and when we play on this field without the walls and the other one without the walls is where we tend to struggle as a team with that being said let's finally get into some action hey, stick here stick here that's close Now, being in games like this are both good and bad. Good because I'm not getting a whole lot of action on me, which means my defense is good. We're not allowing them a lot of opportunities to actually get through on net. It's bad because I, I wanted content. I wanted cool saves that I could be able to post, but a lot of the game, this one, was just one of these games where a lot of the ball at my feet, calling out stuff to the defenders, calling out which ways to attack, and more just being a vocal leader in ter instead of actually doing the goalkeeping process. Quick ball, turn, back! And finally, eight minutes into the game, I finally got an opportunity to make my first save. Nice, Rod. Who's this? Now, this was a really neck and neck game, which you probably wouldn't think seeing a team number four in the standings playing a 13th team that maybe there'd be a wider gap, but we were just really struggling to break things down. It was still 0 0 at this point. <laughs> And finally, after 15 minutes, I was able to set up a David Raya S counter attack that he just had a couple weeks ago here in this game. Look at it unfold. It is a thing of beauty. <laughs> After that, I was feeling very good personally because one of the things I feel like I'm very good at it indoor and outdoor is distribution with the ball with my hands or with my feet. So it was good to see a goal happen off of it. And as the first half was coming to a close, we probably had one of the most Sunday League refereeing moments I think that I have seen, honestly, since I have started playing in this. You let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments if you make it this far in the video. Do you think this was a red? And obviously, I think there should have been advantage played in this situation. So yeah, after all that, a red card was given, which I don't really agree with it. I think it was just a mess up by the referee. He wanted to make up for it, so he gave somebody a red card. So they had to have a substitute goalie go in. And this is where initially I thought that we were just going to start piling on the goals. But after being robbed of what would have been our second goal of the game, it was time to jump into the second half. <laughs> Just when you thought the game couldn't get any weirder, I make this challenge. And what you guys can't see is that the, the box, I was actually outside of it. So I was trying to make a play just by going to ground and using my body here. And I actually got the guy in the back foot, which got me a blue card, but I don't have to go out. And as you saw, I immediately raised my hands up, disputed the call. Even when you watch it back in slow motion, it's really hard to tell if I actually made initial contact when I first dropped. Definitely got him when he ended up falling down. He did a phenomenal job of selling this call, which got me the blue card. But he gets up. He was perfectly fine. We call that the, the Spanish way of doing things. Roll on the ground, screaming, holding your ankle, and then get up as soon as you get the call you want. <laughs> Yep. 
So after this point, there really wasn't much that happened the rest of the game. A little more wackiness of a few more blue cards, a yellow card. It was just no stability being able to go in towards this game. So there wasn't a whole lot for me to do. They did end up securing one goal, and I believe that we ended up only scoring two more on this guy. And to be fair, the substitute goalie, he made some pretty good saves. <laughs> See, so yeah, as I had mentioned, not a whole lot going on this game, so I don't want to bore everybody just by showing passing and not doing much else. Uh, but they did get that one goal on me. I have a really bad habit of turning my body ever since I got injured. I'm not sure why, uh, but that's how they ended up getting that goal. We ended up winning this game 3-1. to one. Should have definitely been more, but we live, we learn, we move on. Still in fourth place because the teams ahead of us continue to win. Make sure you drop a like and follow. Subscribe to the channel as well, and I will see you all in the next video.